Well, after some digging here, it looks like we had a little bit more damage than we first thought. Um, and this is the trail of the damage. So it started here um, where I've sanded the crack down and then I left this little tiny piece right there where you can see the water flowed down there. And what it does is it, it just, the wood or the, the bare wood absorbs the moisture, what little bit of moisture comes through that crack and it starts to dig its way in between the layers of paint. Um, and then it just wreaks havoc. Once those layers of paint um, get the condensation underneath of there, that condensation will literally boil, steam up, and it'll make the big blisters. And uh, wherever the blisters form, they'll crack. And then, like, like I said before, this is where the pocket came down. Um, and this was where the, most of the damage occurred. So what we've got going on here then um, because of the extent of the damage, uh, this is actually just surface damage. Uh, it, it, didn't ma it didn't manage to um, rot any of the mahogany, so it's beautiful. However, down here it did, uh, and we were originally just going to put some um, sculpt wood in here and fix this up today. But uh, while this is nice and dry, uh, you can see down here we've got a little bit more damage. Again, this is a lot of surface damage um, from the extent that the uh, this is where the water was going down into. And you can see here, you know, I've flaked away all the paint until it doesn't chip away anymore, and then that means you've got good paint under there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna let this dry. Uh, we don't wanna put anything on there right now. If you put sculpt wood on there, it's an epoxy. Um, you can see here, there's actually some right here from the inside. And it will um, seal that moisture into the wood, and then we'll end up with problems down the road. So we're trying to fix those, not cause more. And then the other problem that we had was over here. And let's see if the camera adjusts. And there it does. So um, this is where the damage started. It started right here. And probably what it was was it just was dirt that had accumulated. Um, and then when dirt sits on that seam, uh, the dirt doesn't dry out and it transfers that water to whatever is underneath of it. And this, um, at the time that this rotted, might have been a bare piece of teak that just didn't get enough. Or um, probably what it really was was too many layers of paint because this boat has lots of layers of paint on it. Uh, and those layers of paint will actually hold water underneath them that you don't know. So all of this, you can see that it's kind of palominoed here. Well, this is just that I scraped off loosely um, with the scraper. So anyway, uh, the, the damage is too extensive here. Um, you can see here it's actually rotted away a hole. Um, this is all good good on the other side but I'm gonna to have to take all of this putty off um, and it looks like I'm gonna to have to remove this so what we're gonna to do tonight is we're gonna put some of that shrink wrap or that heat shrink tape on here um, and then we're gonna be careful that we start with the bottom and that we overlap our layers as we build them up um, that way the water will run off of them kind of like a roof so I will show you the finished product but this uh, will be messed with another day and this is going to literally have to be a construction project. Uh, we might be able to use sculpt wood here but this is going to have to be replaced and here's the reason I'm sorry I should have elaborated on this if you look the side of this crack you really can't see it but inside of there is some rubber you can see me flex it with my blade there that rubber needs to come out of there or this will never seal. So they put the rubber on when they put this piece on and it has since failed. So that repair, we'll wait for another day. Um, and then tonight what we'll do is we will put tape over both of these so that we don't have any exposed wood. And it's supposed to rain tomorrow, but we'll come back in a couple of days and finish the repair.